Okay guys, sa video na to, tuturo ko sa inyo yung item analysis. So, sa mga edoc students, for sure, na-encounter na na to. Kung hindi pa, well, ito yun. And, itong mga given data na to is uh, taken by sa subject namin. And, gusto ko lang i-share yung knowledge and kung paano ko siya natutunan okay, sa mga nahirapan. So, kung hindi nyo alam kung ano yung item analysis, uh, sa description box na yung uh, description na. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. So, sa table na to, may kita nyo, given na siya. Ito yung result of item 18 taken by 42 grade 7 pupils in mathematics test subject. So, ito yung, no, yung pupil number. Ito yung score nila. And these are their answers. So, for this sample, ang correct answer is letter C. So, ang first step na gagawin natin is i-arrange natin sila. Okay, so cut natin to. Let's cut that out and paste it here. Ayan, para sunod-sunod. Delete na natin to. Sorry guys kung medyo ano. Matusi ako sa colors. Ayan, hindi magkakasunod na sila. Next is, i-arrange natin sila from highest to lowest. So, i-select natin to. Then, we arrange this. Ito tayo sa home. Sort and filter. Then, sort largest to smallest. Boom. Ayan. As you can see, hindi nag-iba yung mga ano nila, answers. So, ulit. Tingnan natin yung na-undo natin. So, hanapin natin itong ano bang kakaibang number dito. Uh, let's say, 71, letter E. Okay, redo natin. Hanapin natin yung 71, letter E. Ay, may isa pa pala. Okay? <laughs> to make sure, let's try again. Itong 89, sisagot niya. Ayan, sisagot niya. Okay? Tama. So, hindi nagbago yung answers nila. Pero, itong pupils na to magiging number of pupils na lang siya. Next is, kukunin natin yung upper group and lower group. Ito nga pala yung mga key legends natin. Ayan na. Para madali nating maintindihan. So, huwag naman napansinin ito. Ito muna ang key legends. Okay. So, balik tayo dito sa table natin. So, sub step 2, isahatiin na natin sila sa 1 thirds. So, since 42 divided by 3 is 14, so bilang tayo dito. 1, 2, 14. Ayan. So, kulayan natin siya ng iba. Gawin naman natin. Ayan. And then, okay, yung pangit ng pinili ko. From below, kuha tayo 14. So, ayan, 14 counts from pupil 29. Let's change that color to uh, green. And then, itong nasa gitna, i-disregard na na siya. So, middle group yan. So, hindi siya masyadong kailangan. Pasensya na sa asong tumatahol. Okay? Ayan. So, ito lang yung titignan natin, guys. Yan. Yan yung most yung titignan natin. Okay. Insert muna tayo dito. Sorry. Uh, merge ko siya. So that you will know that this is the uh, upper group. And the other one is a uh, lower group. Sorry, choosy sa colors. Um, gusto ko kinukulayan siya para nadi-differentiate ko talaga siya. Okay. So, disregard na na ito ah. Bina natin yung kulay niya para 
Alam natin di siya part. <laughs> okay. For the next step, for the next step, kailangan natin gumawa ng item card. So, ito siya. So, ano bang naka, ano bang laman ng item card? Lalagay nyo lang naman yung options, which is yung multiple choice siya. A, B, C, D, E. And yung UG, upper group, and LG is yung lower group. So, tingin ulit tayo sa table. Ngayon, nahanapin natin yung mga bata na pumili ng correct answer, which is yung letter C. Kulayan ulit natin sila. Ubusan na ako ng kulay. Yan, okay lang ba yan? So, ilan yun sila? Count is 9. So, sa upper group, 9 yung pumili ng correct answer. And, isang A, lagay natin. Nga lang, i-hide na nga natin ito. And, at least, nakikita na ng mas malapit-lapit. And, yung letter B, isa lang yung pumili. Isa lang ba? Yes. Sa D, isa lang din. And, sa E, isa lang din. So, lower group naman. 1, 2, 3. Tatlo yung pumili ng C. Mahanapin na lang natin. Oh. Yung pumili ng A is 1, 2, 3. Yung pumili ng B is 1, 2, 2 lang. Wait lang guys ha. Okay, sorry guys. Correct ko lang tong table ko. This should be 81. This should be 80. So, hindi naman magbabago yung ano yan. Interest. Kalimutan ko baguhin. And yung sagot ni Kid81 is B. Yung sagot ay E. Okay, sorry. Nagkamali. Is 1 pa din naman. Okay. Is a lower group. D. Ang nagsagot ng D ay 1, 2, 3, 4. At nung nagsagot ng E, ay dalawa. Okay. Meron na tayong item card. Okay, hindi gumagana yung control E. Next step, is hanapin natin yung index of difficulty. Ito na siya. So, para sa ba yung index of difficulty? Dito mo malalaman kung yung question mo is easy or difficult. So, may formula tayo dyan. Sum of x, which is sum of right upper, yan, over right lower. Then, we multiply it, I we divide it by n, which is number of both upper and lower group, which is, since 14 sila, plus 14, that's 28. Ang nga pala guys, huwag na kalimutan na dapat itong row na to is equivalent to 14. Kung ilan yung students. Okay, so that is 28. So, ito yung interpretation natin. It is difficult kapag yung lumabas dito ay 49% or below. And it is easy kapag ang lumabas ay 50% and above. So, compute natin siya. Index of difficulty is 9 plus 3. And then, gamitan natin ang formula. So, pin natin dito sa glit. Okay, gamitan natin siya ng formula. So, 
a door plus this one divided by 28 put close parentheses and multiplied by 100 so a round of nothing shall go in nothing 42.86 so this is our answer that is our index of difficulty so pasok siya sa difficult kasi it is 42.86 percent next step natin is step number six ito naman hanapin natin yung index of discrimination so ru which is the sum of right responses of the upper group uh, subtracted by RL which is sum of responses of lower group divided by NG which is number of responses discriminated so balik tayo sa taas so ito yung RU natin ito yung RL copy natin to para dito tayo dito Yan. Okay, our RU, which is 9. Okay, sorry, go at time formula. So, ito daw, RU, subtracted by RL, just the right lower, divided by yung number of responses discriminated. So, kumbaga, number of students sa each group. Then, we get that. It's 0 0.42. We can convert, can round it up to 0 0.43. So, interpretation natin dyan. If it's positive, the upper group are fast learners. If it's negative, the lower group are fast learners. So, sinasabi dito na kapag positive daw yung sagot, which is positive naman siya, the upper group are fast learners. So, matatali nyo daw tong mga to, yung mga upper group na yan. If it's negative, then it's vice versa. Next is we determine the effectiveness of correct answer. So, dito, malalaman natin kung good or poor ba. So, good daw siya kapag more respondents from the upper group got the correct answer and poor siya kapag more respondents from the lower group got the correct answer. So, yung respondents daw from the upper group, dapat mas marami siya compared sa lower group. Mas marami yung tama nilang ako ang sagot sa upper group kaysa sa lower group. So, since halata naman sa table natin, it is good kasi uh, there are 9 students who got the correct answer from the upper group. While there are only 3 students who got the correct answer from the lower group. So, it is good. Next is, we determine the effectiveness of destructors. So, dito naman, destructors, which is yun yung mga A, B, D, E, yung hindi tamang sagot. So, sabi dito, it is good kapag more respondents from the lower group got the incorrect answer. And poor if it is more respondents from the upper group got the incorrect answer. So, halata naman sa table natin. Copy na nga natin ito. Pwede na tayo pataas-taas. Halata naman sa table na more respondents from the lower group got the incorrect answer. Ayan o. 3, 2, 4, 2. Mas maraming nagkamali. And unti lang yung tumama. So, that is good kasi ang galing siya sa lower group. Poor naman siya kung Lastly, we determine the effect effectiveness of options. I'm sorry. So, sobrang importante na itong item card natin. So, ito yung mga options natin. A, B, C, D, E. And, ito yung mga interpretation na. And, explain ko sa inyo ito. 
sa letter A daw, yung upper group, isa lang yung naka, isa lang yung pumili ng letter A. Compared sa lower group tatlo. So, lower group is greater than upper group. So, that is good kasi onti lang yung pumili sa up, from the upper group. So, isa lang yung nagkamali. Unlike sa lower group, tatlo. So, effective yung options mo kasi parang uh, mas maraming pumili nung hindi tamang sagot. Okay, parang na-distract sila. So, sa letter B naman, it is poor. Why? Because actually, equals pala to. Sorry, my bad. Equal siya. Dalawa yung nagkamali from the upper group. Dalawa yung pumili ng letter B sa upper group as well as sa lower group. So, kailangan mong baguhin tong uh, choice na to sa letter B. Kung ano man yung nakalagay dyan. Let's say sentence. Basta yung choice na yan. We need to revise that. Well, dito sa A, you need to retain. So, sa letter C naman, syempre, it's good. Kasi mas maraming nakakuha ng Tamang sagot from the upper group compared sa lower group. Kasi, ayun, no, 9. Diba? Compared naman sa tatlo lang. And, ganun din sa letter D and sa letter E. Mas mataas yung uh, nakakuha ng incorrect answer sa lower group compared sa upper group. So, that is good. So, ayun lang guys. I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating item analysis. Okay? And credit goes to sa gumawa na itong example na to. Share ko lang sa inyo kung paano ko nakuha. And I hope hindi kayo nalito. Yun lang. Thank you guys.